President Ekufuado in February this year sent a delegation to the region led by his special advisor on gender and development, Angela Asante, after a joint news report exposed how two women from the Mampusi East community had been accused of witchcraft and subjected to severe torture by a Togolese priest. The delegation on the fact-finding mission also held meetings with both the Regional Security Council and the House of Chiefs to express the President's anger with the development, as well as tax the two bodies to work to ensure the practice was brought under control. However, authorities at the Gambaga Witch Camp say nothing has changed from the visit of the presidential delegation. According to the camp's coordinator, Samson La, 10 women have since been accused and violently banished from their communities without any action from the security services. Elias Utanko reports. This is a Togolese priest abusing two Ghanaian women from the East Mampresi community of Sakogu in a so-called special ritual to force them to confess to the allegation of witchcraft that was leveled against them by some members of the community who had forced them to the camp at Barokosi in northern Togo. Three months earlier, more than 20 women from the town of Nakwanduri had been held in the camp and tortured over similar allegations. The incident which occurred in February this year and was reported by Joy News attracted the attention of President Akufuadu and provoked him to immediately react by dispatching a delegation under his special advisor on gender and development, Angela Asante, to meet with the regional stakeholders to convey his anger and demand a lasting solution to the heinous practice. The fact-finding delegation in the region held separate meetings with the regional security council following that meeting. The overlord and president of the House of Chiefs said this during a House of Chiefs meeting in March. I wish to serve a caution to some of our so-called pastors and manams who have become recalcitrant and have made it a business by identifying witches and wizards and also make them, make them think gods without recourse to the laws of the country. And that such pastors and manams should desist from such obnoxious uh, behaviors. In the same month during the Independent Day celebration, the chairman of the Security Council and the regional minister also issued a warning to deal with the perpetrators of the practice. However, according to authorities of the Gambaga Witch Camp, the practice has shown no sign of improvement. Samson Lari is a coordinator of the camp. Actually, there has been an increase after the visit of the Parliamentary Select Committee. We are really very, I don't know what to say, but we are surprised. Just of recent, we have recorded six women and one man again, just for some few days. And this is really alarming. And you know one thing, just not to record them, but they, this is the time there are brutalities as well. One woman is almost even dead. I sent her to the hospital three days ago. It was today that we were discharged. So it is very bad for us. Six people coming in just within one month after they left. Oh, some few days. The funny thing is that we don't even have um, a sleeping place for them because four of our rooms collapsed during the raining season. I mean, during the rains, four of it collapsed. So right now, as we speak, where to put all of them it's a problem. Some, they, don't, they didn't come with any mat, mattress. It's difficult and we don't have new ones as we stand now. So should they lie down on the floor? It's a difficult thing. According to the coordinator, a woman was attacked and chased out of her community in April. And in June, two women were attacked in the Yunyo district. And only this month, three individuals, including a man, have been banished from Nalirgu, the regional capital town. Those who have been accused but not yet banished from their communities are living under constant threat and discrimination. The witch camp coordinator said the situation in the region is dire as he appealed to parliament to fast track the passage of the proposed witchcraft bill. But when you understand the situation on the ground very well and you go back to do the bill, it means that it will benefit the one you are actually fighting for. That's all what I'm looking for. Mm. My old ladies are tired. They're tired. People are still beating them everywhere. 
Uh, you can also be everywhere. So if there's a bill, if there's a law that will help people not to beat these women, is it not the best? He also called on the newly appointed Gender, Children and Social Protection Minister designate Hajia Lariba Abudu, who comes from the region, to do more to end the practice in the event her nomination is approved by parliament. I think if it is actually true that Hajia Lariba is the gender minister, I think she knows these things very well, more than anybody else. She was born and bred in Walwale. And I think this is the right time for us to do the right fight. Let's come together. But From Nalergo, Elias Sotanko, Joy News. Very demeaning videos there.